G'day viewers and welcome to this week's PB's Retro Restorations. Last year, Matchbox released their casting of the Opal Cadet, a car better known in Australia as the Holden Gemini. So I'm going to do two conversions to Holden Geminis, including making right-hand drive dashboards for them. One will be a standard road car, the other will be the Holden Dealer Team car run by Wayne Bell and George Shepard in the 1970s. And I've got one of those stories that sounds like bull but really is true, but that's for later on. Calling Wayne and George legends of Australian motorsport is not an overstatement. Uh, George won the Australian Rally Championship four times with Colin Bond, among many other victories. He also ran the Holden Dealer Team Rally Program, including prepping the new Commodores for the 1979 Repco Reliability Trial, ensuring a 1-2-3 victory for the Round Australia event with his meticulous planning. He's managed Dick Johnson's team to an Australian touring car title. The list goes on. And that's not even getting into his father, Reg, starting the Red X trials in the 50s, or his son, Stephen's wins in the Australian Rally Championship and the Queensland Rally Championships. And then to quote Rally Sport magazine, Wayne Bell is widely regarded as the greatest rally driver never to have won the Australian Rally Championship driving for the Holden Dealer Rally Team in running the Hyundai factory rally team amongst other accomplishments and to try and cover it all here would do Wayne and the Shepherd family an injustice hopefully I haven't insulted them with that all too brief skim over their achievements and so on that note let's get crackalacking on these twin Geminis see what I did there and see what we can do with them So the steering wheel is on the wrong side. It needs a roll cage anyway. So I'll fix that because there's no way I'm leaving that in the wrong side. Glass and one Gemini body. So I threaded both the posts on both the cars. The second car was orange. Uh, the yellow and white one comes with tinted glass. The orange one comes with clear glass, which proved helpful. So here's all the 3D uh, print files that I designed myself. Uh, the wheels I didn't design myself, but I did put there an amalgam of two separate designs. I found the closest wheels I could uh, to the Rally Geminis, made front and rear ones, not that you'll probably see it at that scale. Uh, I did a skid tray for the front, I put the two UE sponsorships in it as well, they'd be pretty small so it'd be difficult to see. A set of spotlights. They came out nice. Then I did a roll cage. This was a easy to design, not so easy to print. It took me several goes to get this to come out without disintegrating. 
and here's the right hand drive dash I did my best to design put the vents and the radio and all that stuff where they should be I suppose I should have put a timer clock or a clipboard holder on there as well being a rally car but anyway so from design to print everything went pretty smoothly The work I did removing the uh, left hand drive dash was a little bit dodgy. I didn't slice my fingers off and I did end up, you know, just dremeling it out. Uh, it wasn't the neatest, but it got the job done and made space for that replacement right hand drive dash. As you can see, I've gone with a proper 70s Gemini colour, or like lurid lime green. And now I'm going to mask it off so I can do the black around some of the windows. Took me a couple of goes. The first time I did it, it wasn't quite neat enough, so I just ripped it off like a band aid, started again, and as you can see, I got there in the end. Did the same with the rally car, did the white first, then the blackouts, and I'll do the red shortly. I made these decals for the grill and taillight assembly for the Gemini. I was very proud of how these came out. I think they look fantastic at the end. A little bit tiny and fiddly, but they're laser printed and they went on like they should. Now masking off for the red, I'm not going to lie to you viewers, uh, I did entirely paint this car and get half the decals on it and then I stripped it and started again because it just looked awful, it wasn't, wasn't neat enough.
so it's less of a problem on the white car because you know it's white and the clear decals will show up on it but for the green car I put a decal on and then I color it in white uh, sometimes I do it in silver uh, and then put another decal over the top of it just so it makes it a bit more prominent okay so now starting with the rally car uh, I'm proud to say that I designed all the decals uh, for this car uh, spent many hours researching them getting images online printing it test fitting it make sure it fit uh, and a bit of prior planning meant that when it did come time to put them on they all went on as they should and I think well I think the results speak for themselves I'm really pleased with how they look I'll be interested to see if the algorithms pick up the um, tobacco advertising that's on this car uh, Australia has the toughest rules in the world on tobacco advertising on cars you can't even make reproduction like if you try and buy Peter Brock's A9X Tirana or Commodore's they're all sponsored by the same tobacco company you, you get every other decal and sponsored decal on the car except the one that starts with the letter M and yeah if you want them on there you have to put them on there yourself so we'll see I think the tiniest decals were for Wayne and George's first names on the sides of the car. Um, how I didn't lose them, I'm not sure. <laughs> so all the decals are on and they've both been clear coated and they're getting a healthy dose of the Queensland sun best sun in all the world masking the street car off for chrome bumpers I also did the same with the rally car and of course looking at the pictures later I realized the rally car didn't have chrome bumper on the front it had a white bumper and so I apologize for that oversight
just use a little touch of white canopy glue uh, to hold the spotlights on the front to test fit and they'll hold them on there nice and strong So much like the Corgi Rally Mini, I couldn't put the skid plate on until after I'd put it together and, you know, buttoned it all up. So you can't pull it apart now. So I glued it on there and then I painted it. Okay, so here comes the story. It sounds like bullshit, but it's true. Um, anyway, I was doing my glamour shots, and I remembered I was going to do license plates for both the cars. Uh, I just made one up for the green one, Queensland plates, of course, but I wanted to get the proper one for Wayne and George's car, so I posted on an Australian motor racing photos group I'm in on Facebook, asking for help, confirmation of the plate. Of course, I got a wave of help, including a colour shot of the front of the car, which was awesome. And then I saw this comment. And then in the morning I got this message from Stephen. Yes, yeah, Stephen Shepard asking if I'd be interested in making a second one for Dad. And I was like, what? Uh, interested in making one for the man himself? Are you kidding? So I said it would be an honour to send him this one. In one of those weird coincidences, it turns out their business office is five minutes from my house. So I dropped into their reception, uh, dropped the car off for George. I got this nice message, uh, can you believe it viewers, one of my builds now resides in the home of the man himself and yep, yeah, I still can't believe it. So it's one of those times where we go back to the beginning and there's absolutely nothing wrong with the candidate. Uh, I was really stoked when Matchbox brought this out, as soon as they announced it, I remember the the Australian you know, diecast community was like, oh that's not, that's not a Nopal Cadet, it's a Holden Gemini. Uh, and the race was on to find as many of them as everyone could um, so I was fortunate to find the two that I did I was always going to turn them into Gemini's it's, it was a no-brainer so this is what I started with this and an orange one and this is what I'm left with now to say I'm super pleased with how both of these came out is the understatement of the decade viewers uh, I think the green is a really good 70s green and it, We've all seen Gemini's painted that colour. And the rally car, I was super pleased with how it came out. And I was super honoured that the Shepherd family, you know, would have it in their home. Um, I still can't believe it. <sighs> still can't believe it.
thanks for taking the time out of your day to come and check out my video i really appreciate the support if you've liked it click the like button <laughs> um, maybe go check out some of my other videos and make an educated decision on whether you'd like to subscribe some of them are really good some of them you know but anyway that's for you to decide thank you very much for watching uh, leave me a comment tell me if you liked it you didn't like it i do read them all and i do try to reply to all of them i'm managing to keep it up at the moment so have a great weekend stay safe and i'll see you next time for the next exciting video bye